Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Chavante. I'm back with another awesome tutorial for you guys. This one's going to be for a resin bank check that's made out to the Bank of Abundance. You can fill it out for whatever it is that you desire. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you miss anything moving forward. All right, hippies, so to get started, we're going to start with this blank bank check mold that I have available in my Etsy store and on my craft shop, craftingwithcs.com. So make sure you do check that out. It is an exclusive from my shop, so you won't be able to get it anywhere else. But what I'm doing to start out is I'm just going to brush some of this Aurora um, color changing powder into the corners of the mold. Now this um, particular powder still has a pretty transparent finish in everything so you'll still be able to see any inserts that we do add in um, underneath behind this layer. Now I did mix up about 70 milliliters of resin. Um, I actually started with 100 that I had um, for another project. I used 30 on that project. I'm using the remaining for this project but really you could have use 60 um, milliliters for this particular layer but what I'm doing is I'm just putting about half of the resin in there to create a nice little even layer and then I'm dragging a toothpick across to make sure I got the bubbles out and then I'm going to add this metallic butterfly that I have here I'm using the edge of a q-tip that I'm sorry not q-tip <laughs> I'm using the edge of a toothpick that I have to pull the um, protective film off if you don't pull the protective film off the butterfly won't be as shiny so do make sure you're paying attention to that with these little solid colored um, butterflies what I'm doing next is I'm taking some pressed flowers and I'm adding a few drips of resin to the top of the flower and then I'm placing the flowers face down into the resin um, adding that little bit of resin to the flower helps minimize any bubbles that get trapped underneath or anything like that so it just makes your life a little bit easier so I definitely recommend recommend it and everything especially since this particular piece has etchings and everything and you know you don't want the paint to get caught up in those but yeah just go ahead and continue adding your flowers pressing those down into your resin making sure they are submerged and everything into the resin spray a little bit of alcohol to help release any bubbles that have come up to the surface now what we're going to do next is we're going to be choosing a glitter mix um, I'm going to be using this one in um, this one is some leftover that I had of rich um, but one that I have similar is it's for the image but it's almost out so make sure you do go and grab that if you're interested but yeah just sprinkle a little bit of glitter into those free spaces and maneuver around with the toothpick so it's kind of randomized um, and all around mixed in and then you're just going to allow this layer to cure Right, so after you've let that layer cure what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and prep 40 milliliters of resin make sure it's nice and bubble free and then you just want to go ahead and add in some of your mica powder I'm using an orange mica powder I'm going to mix that in really really well here and then after I finish dispersing that mica powder through what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a few drops of alcohol ink I'm using a white alcohol ink because I want a nice transparent I'm sorry a nice opaque background so I don't want it to be see-through and this white is going to help me to achieve that by creating this milky pearl orange color that's absolutely gorgeous if I do say so myself so and it's also going to help pop any bubbles that are in there because the alcohol and the alcohol ink so it's a double win right all right, so after you get all that thoroughly mixed in, you're just going to go ahead and pour that into your mold. You want to pour an even layer. I start by pouring about half of it, and then I just take my popsicle stick, my stir stick, and kind of go around the edges and everything to make sure bubbles don't get trapped. And then I go ahead and pour in the remaining. After you pour in the remaining, you want to go ahead and scrape the sides of the cup and everything, because you know, no resin left behind. And then you can go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol if necessary and drag a toothpick across to create a design then of course let that cure All 
All right, it's time for the fun part. Once everything's nice and hard, you want to go ahead and wiggle this from the mold. Pull any excess pieces off using your fingers or a razor if necessary. Um, whatever is more convenient for you. You can also use a sanding block, sanding paper. You can use a um, rotating tool with a little um, sanding bit drill. So the possibilities, like there's so many, choose whichever method that you like. And this is what we got. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and paint the etchings. I'm going to be using a black acrylic paint. Using a paintbrush, I'm just going to brush my paint into the etchings. Now you do want to kind of push the brush into the etchings as well, so that way you can make sure the paint actually gets in there and the bubbles don't get trapped and um, you're not leaving any hollow spaces or anything like that. So just make sure you're going across all of your etchings with that brush and everything the etchings turn out so beautifully on here I really love how deep they are but they're not too deep and it holds the paint really well so that way it doesn't drag when you go over with the rag and you'll be able to see in just a few if you're really rocking with this design and everything make sure you check out my Etsy shop or my crafting store which I will be linking for you guys below so that way you can shop the silica mold is exclusive to my shop it's one that I created myself I create this design so I really hope you guys like it but yeah you just want to go ahead and make sure that that acrylic paint is into the etchings and everything is filled there aren't any blank spaces and you didn't miss any spots once you have confirmed that you're going to let it dry and just let it dry completely hippies Alright, so once that's dry, take your damp rag, very, very damp, like it's hard, you hardly want to even touch it with the water. And then spray a little bit of alcohol and then you'll be able to wipe the excess acrylic paint right on off. You guys see how I'm putting hardly any work into this. And then I'm going to go through on a cleaner side with my rag just to make sure I pick up any excess paint um, that might have gotten pushed around or anything like that. Also go around the sides um, just to make sure that you get all the excess paint off. <laughs> all right, and so once you finish getting all the paint off, and you like how you have everything you're going to go ahead and prep another 20 milliliters of resin now I have this on my leveling board as well so make sure you check out the description if you want a leveling board I have one that I found on Amazon um, that looks like it works really really well so make sure you check that out but I'm just making sure that I do this on an even surface because I don't want the resin to drip off the edges. I have this sped up um, pretty, pretty fast, um, faster than the rest of the video. So this looks like I'm moving a lot faster than what I actually am. But I'm taking my time making sure that I pour this resin evenly across the surface and there aren't any dents or dimples. And I'm making sure it's covering every single space. So you want to go around across each edge and corner corner you want to make sure it's over each etching especially those etchings since we really want to seal in that acrylic paint because you see how easy it was to kind of wipe it off yeah so you know over time it will come off if you do not seal it with that coat of epoxy or at least get in here with some acrylic spray some clear acrylic spray paint to seal everything in but in my opinion the resin looks better and it has a better and shinier turnout and it also creates an even surface so that way you can get on here with a dry erase marker and actually write onto your blank check so yeah pro tip but go ahead spray the alcohol make sure that any bubbles that do rise pop and then let this cure overnight 
Ta-da, hippies! This right here is our finished project, and I say that she is an absolute masterpiece. I am so in love with this whole design and everything. I really love um, this whole idea. You guys know I am big on abundance, law of attraction, and just manifestation overall. This check is signed from the universe, authorized signature, so that way you know you already know. You see all the... Um, all the numbers on here all the angel numbers so that way you can make sure that you're bringing a lot of good energy into whatever it is that you are trying to manifest this check is set up i've done a lot of research making sure it's set up just like a real check and everything yes honey i love how this butterfly looks on here it's metallic and i love how it just reflects everything you can put whatever amount it is that you want on here and you know you know that your dreams are secure it says it right here on the check it says it right here on the check next to the little lock symbol which you guys will see in just a second but yes i want you guys to make sure that you knew that your dreams are secure you can go and chase whatever it is that you want make that happen make that shit happen hippies all right so we're getting towards the end here if you love this tutorial as much as i did and you love the turnout as much as i do make sure you leave a like and a comment for me i love hearing from you guys and i love featuring your comments and stuff and i really appreciate all of your support until next time hippies xo Mwah.